Hello everyone, this is financial author Amit Dhan of Iran Journal. Today I'll show you how to properly destroy a credit card so the scammers or con artists are not able to extract valuable information from your cards. If you're interested to learn how various investment internet credit card scam works, please visit www.aronjournal.com I have a variety of articles under life money smart tips section and these articles will help you to recognize and prevent various types of scams and protect your money and everything else thank you Hello everyone, this is financial author Amit Dhan of Iran Journal. Today, I'll show you how to properly destroy a credit card. When you are about to get rid of old credit cards or expired credit cards, instead of just throwing them out or putting them in the garbage, you need to properly destroy them. So if the scammers or con artists get a hold of them, they are not able to extract the information from the credit card or from the chip and replicate the credit card to scam you. In order to do that or in order to properly destroy your credit card, you need to cut them into pieces but at the same time you need to be careful that you're cutting uh, you're cutting uh, or you're destroying the credit card numbers uh, which are right here and the chip where all the information is stored uh, if the scammers can get a hold of this piece or this chip uh, you never know what they're able to do so it's better to be careful than sorry and also you need to cut your name or destroy your name so today in this video I'll show you how to do that uh, if you see if you look at the card you'll see that I have drawn some red lines uh, what it means that these are the lines you need to cut and if you just follow these lines it's going to cut all the vital information or destroy the information which are stored on your credit card for example this line right here uh, let's start like this so you're gonna cut the number in such a way that the number are not readable anymore so this way you're cutting them into half okay now you're going to follow each line and here is where usually your name would show make sure that you cut it such a way that your name is no longer recoverable from the destroyed card and then start cutting the chip
I'll just cut this part of broken chip into another part anyway. Okay, so now if you if you take a look at it, the card is completely destroyed, and the chip portion of the card is broken into pieces. Now, although I'm confident that it's going to be very hard or almost impossible to extract any information from these broken pieces however just to be over sure I'll not put them in one garbage so what I'll do I'll take each piece and put it into separate garbages possibly on different dates or let's say if I go out then I'm gonna take this with me and start putting Okay, sorry, I believe uh, I got cut off in the middle, so I'm doing this part again. Uh, so I was saying that uh, just to be over sure, I would put uh, each pieces into different garbages. Uh, that way, uh, the scammers or con artists are not, not able to get a hold of uh, everything together and piece them together, just to be over sure. Now, if you're worrying about the magnetic strip on the back, I just wanted to make sure that following the method I just uh, mentioned to destroy credit card would also destroy your magnetic uh, strip on the back because it will cut them into pieces. So it shouldn't be it should be almost impossible to piece things together. So whenever uh, you are destroying your credit cards instead of uh, putting them into garbage or throwing them somewhere just make sure that you follow this uh, process to destroy them completely uh, the scammers and con artists have high-tech devices and they're easily able to extract information from your credit cards if it goes into the wrong hands so just to be safe and secure you need to destroy everything. That's all for today. Thank you.